Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add teal and orange in an image with Photopea. This image is from Unsplash. I've already put a link down below, so if you want to try it on your own, you can download it. When I first looked at this image, I liked the setting of a woman in orange dress um, sitting by the sea, but the sea seemed to be overexposed and I would like to bring back that blue. So let's first duplicate our background layer, just in case. And in this color grading tutorial, I'm going to use three techniques. First is the most important one. I'm going to use selective color to bring out that blue. And I have already done a, a tutorial about selective colors. So I'm not going to explain it in detail in this video, but if you're interested in it, you can click on the link up there. So now, we're going to first use select and click on the color range to select on the highlight area. Now, it is pretty much selected. Just click on the C and the sky to make sure that all the highlights are selected and you can click on that plus and minus icon to decide how much you want to select and it doesn't have to be very precise because we can adjust it very easily later and remember here in the white area it means what we have selected and the black area is what we have not selected. So click that OK. And because we're going to use the selection for more than one time, so let's use a group, Control plus G to make it a folder and now click on mask. So now everything in this folder will be under the mask. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is click on the adjustment layer. I'm going to use selective color. This is what I've talked about. And here we have a lot of colors to choose from. White means the highlight area. So everything I do down here will only affect the highlight in this image. So of course, I'm going to increase the cyan because I want the the C to look more obvious and maybe a little bit of magenta to give it a, a bit of warmth and I want to decrease the yellow remember when I decrease the yellow it means I am increasing the blue because Yellow and blue are complementary colors. And let's add a little bit of black. So now let's click neutral. Neutral means the mid-tone of this image. So everything I do down here will only affect the mid-tone. Let's definitely boost the cyan. Now you can see the sea and the sky are more vibrant now and decrease a little bit of yellow to bring out that blue. Now let's click black. Black means the shadow of this image. So everything I do now will only affect the shadow in the image. Let's boost the cyan and then decrease the yellow, which means increase the blue. And I want it to be even darker, so I'm going to increase the black. Okay, now I'm happy with my color, but I think maybe I will I will adjust the vibrance so that the colors will show even more. I'm going to make it very, very high. and the saturation as well. Now, maybe about 90 here. 
and you can see that a little bit of the sand area are also becoming blue and that's not what we want so we can click on this mask and just by brushing black or white we can adjust what we want to select so let's see if I brush black here it means that I do not want this area to be affected by what I have just done so let's make sure our brush is very soft the hardness is 0% otherwise the edges here are going to look very strange so let's just paint here you can see that the blues are going away because what we've just done is supposed to only affect the sea and the sky not the sand and the woman now I'm painting I'm painting black on this area but here I would like to paint some white white means select so here I'm going to paint some white you can see that the blue is coming back okay everything looks fine now I have already made the blue comes back and it has a very strong effect um, in contrast with the orange here so the next thing we're going to do is to adjust the curve so that it will be more contrast and because we want the curve to affect on the entire image so I'm going to drag it out of the folder here okay we can close the folder now we're not going to adjust it anymore now curve if we want to make it more contrast we can simply form the shape of an S so that the bright area area will look even brighter and the dark area will look darker of course if you think this is too much you can always adjust the opacity okay let's see the before and after I'm, I'm liking this so now the final step is to add some vignettes so click on the adjustment layer gradient view so now we're going to select this a little bit of black and black and white black and opacity here and we're going to choose the radial style so that it will become like like a circle but we're going to reverse it so that the outer side of the circle is blue and the inner side will still be white still be bright so you can adjust it according to your preference and adjust the scale if you want more area to be white you will have to increase the scale you can see that as I adjust it the scale of the vignette is changing okay let's see the before and after now our subject is more obvious and more in focus so now this is the after and let me show you the before this is before the subject is not that that obvious and now after we've used the selective color to bring out that blue and we've um, adjusted the curve to make it more contrast and we've also used a gradient view to add a vignette so now the, this is the after 
I hope you enjoy this tutorial and please give me a thumbs up if you like it and I'll see you next time. Bye!